Yara Babingo, Yama, Nai Derevan, Nai Waba, Nai Yengo, Nai Wahia, Ania Naragi, Nara Yama, Dakajan Nara. Good morning and welcome um, from the Derevan to Hawke Street to the Waba, which is Lake Macquarie, to Wadi, which is the coast, to Mount Yengo, which is in the west. I um, just want to welcome everybody to Dakajan country. Today, with the help of the Aboriginal teachers and students, we are here to present our art project. Thank you, Matt and Rachel, for the help with the design and experience. They came up with this wonderful design on the mural. So for them, you can see here the high school and the three primary schools and for them it was all about connection um, and that coming together. So. My name is Jade and I worked on the background and the top It was very good and especially seeing it all come together was very interesting. These totem poles are here to help us connect to our community, culture and live a healthy lifestyle and connect our local schools together. Budgiwoi, which is representative, representative of the sky, which is very young the home of, um, of Banal, the son, grandfather's son. So we've got Blue Haven, is representing of the water, which is Gaya, uh, which is the Derivan in the south, um, Wajir is the coast, a Wabra in the north, and the creeks that feed into Tugger Lakes and the Wollong, the rain. Um, north Lakes Public represents uh, Diggerang, the vegetation from the ancient forests of Wollombai, and the grasslands of Tuggerwong, where our medicine and our food is, can be found everywhere. And then you've got North Lakes High, who represents Nura, the country that we stand on today. With the Yango, our spiritual centre for the seven language groups that are attached to this area. And it presides over Dark and Jung Nura. Since Bayami, the All Father sung law into the Baragara, and went to our ancestors. Um, hi, my name's Callum Heather. Um, I worked on the pole part of the uh, uh, art project. Oh, it's been an absolute blast. I've had so much fun doing it. It's been great. They just took it under their wings so easily and I didn't even really have to do too much prompting or anything. They were always standing there ready to go with a paintbrush or a roller. Mainly a roller, but wasn't everybody wanting to use their rollers too much. But. <laughs> Incredible to see the vibe, the kids, the buzz that's been created in, um, in such a culturally significant place. Yeah, for San Remo on this part of the, the coast that uh, we want to see you know, kids growing up healthy and, and strong. This has an impact lifelong for these kids, for the whole of the community that brings the community together. It's been really valuable for them to be able to interact with members of the Aboriginal community and the different services and so just watching their relationships and their skills grow. I've been really proud of them. Projects like this can give the community something to be proud of and something that they can learn about because Matt has given us the language and the meaning behind it, so it's just something that community can connect to.